Do you guys operate in an open marriage? And is it true that Ronnie can sleep with other women, but Shamari cannot sleep with other men? <laughs> Listen, the, what we went through was honestly in our past. You know, it was over. It was seven yeah, years ago. Yeah, you know, our, we've been in a committed and faithful relationship ultimately. And it was even faithful when we were going through the things that we were going through because we talked about it before we opened ourselves up to some of the, you know, deceit and, you know, all of the jealousy and the various things that you do when you open yourself to other entities coming into your marriage, but as of four years ago, we rededicated ourselves and we're on a really good path, ultimately. Our open marriage happened seven years ago, and our marriage has been restored for the past four years, and we are marriage ambassadors. Right. Gotcha. So, so that was, the open marriage was something you did in the past, and, and it's right. been it's had seven years, and, and now you're about monogamy and, and, and loyalty to each other, and I got gotcha. you. Right. Shamari, if you had to choose, would you bring back Kenya or would you bring back Phaedra? Ooh, who would I bring back? Would I bring back Kenya or Phaedra? I think I would bring back Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would bring back Kenya. I've only met Kenya one time, but she she definitely would be a challenge. You know, she would be a challenge for me, so I like a little challenge. <laughs> Do you interact with her a lot, or have you in the past? No, I, I met her one time um, at an event that Cynthia had last month, and it was just, you know, hello, how are you? Great, nice to meet you, and it was it was very quick. But, um, yeah, I would like to get to know Kenya more. <laughs> <laughs> so bring her back. Yeah, so she doesn't intimidate you, even though I know sometimes she could be... No, not at all, not at all. She does not intimidate me whatsoever. Nobody intimidates me. <laughs> so, Ronnie, I know that Radar is claiming that you owe 366000 in taxes. Are these allegations true, um, or is this just tabloid gossip? Hey, you know, I mean, there's some truth to everything in life. I think we've all, you know at some point or another had some tax challenges and owed Uncle Sam or doctored up some documents to be able to get, you know, some type of tax return or what have you. Um, uh, but, yeah, yeah, ultimately it's something that is there. It's something that's being worked on. Um, it, it's, it's definitely something that I'm not running away from. Um, the IRS knows me, and I know them, and payments are being made. But, yeah, I mean, shit happens in life, ultimately. But um, that was one year that was um, a really good year, and money was used to be able to take care of some other things. And well, every every year after that has been amazing and paid for and up to date. So, you know, it's all good, man. Yeah. We own up to our flaws, ultimately. We are not a perfect couple. We are not perfect people. We are human. We are human. You know, <laughs> and uh, we're not, but we're not running away from anything. We're not running away from anything. We're taking it all head on. And, yes, yeah, you know, I'm bringing on, ultimately. <laughs> Keep us in the press. Keep us relevant. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shamari, how do you feel that black rates up against other R&B groups like TLC, Destiny Childs, Escape, 702, how do you feel like black rates um, up against those other groups? Black is def definitely a group that can stand against TLC, Escape, and everybody because we just come from that 90s era. And I think that black is... Um, is a group that should be, you know, up there as well. Now, what's up? This is Ronnie. And what's up? I'm Shamari. And, and where's the, the bow? And you're listening to the Dominic Natty Show. Yeah.